So you're in the process of getting ready to buy a property. One of the things you're going to need is most likely a mortgage. There's a lot of steps that go into a mortgage application. And here is Guy Bork from the Royal Bank who will go in a little bit more details about what it takes to get a mortgage application. Thank you, John. Today I'd like to have a quick chat about the mortgage application, what banks look for in a mortgage application. First of all, it's your credit score. We take a credit bureau history on every client that, that uh, comes in to apply for a mortgage. We look at the payment history, uh, the ability to pay back the existing debt. It's the client's uh, pattern of how they pay their debt. That's probably the most important thing in a credit application. Uh, the second thing that we look for is job tenure, job stability. Uh, how many years have you been with your existing employer? Even if you haven't been with your existing, the, the criteria or the guideline is two years. Even though you haven't been more than two years with your, your existing employer, we look at have you been in the industry? Have you been working in that field? We're just simply looking for stability and continuance so that we know that you have the continued ability to pay uh, the debt that we're looking to take on. The third the third item that we look for is debt serviceability. Your ability with the cash flow that you have coming into your household every month, your ability to pay back that loan or that mortgage. Um, very important. We're not equity lenders. Royal Bank, Class 1 banks, A banks are not equity lenders. We are cash flow lenders. We are not looking to put someone in a situation where they are over their heads. So it's a, it's a recipe for failure. So basically what we look at is the monthly money, the inflows of cash that come in through your employment, and then we compare it to the monthly outflows, interest that you pay on credit card balances, loans that you pay, car loans, lines of credit. We figure out nationally that no more than 42% of the money you bring in each month should go towards paying your mortgage, your property taxes, your credit cards, your lines of credit, and any debt you have. It's very simple. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, give me a call. It's Guy Bork at RBC 613-799-5199. Thanks.